so with the announcement of next examination almost every single student whether an intern whether a final year student or a dropper is getting a lot of anxiety feeling very distressed and uh, let me let me uh, try to talk about both the groups separately let's first talk about the group who is currently doing internship or who is repeating who is preparing again now for you guys i think it's very clear that neat pg examination is going to happen they have said it clearly that uh, an interim neat pg will happen so neat pg is going to happen for you and uh, although we do not have much knowledge about or much info about what is going to happen about inict but at least neat pg is happening so for you nothing has really changed in your case the biggest thing for your preparation is that you ensure that you do not get distracted by all this noise we expect that in coming days there would be many rumors about the dates there would be many rumors about who can take the examination who cannot take the examination and what we have seen is that a large number of students get significantly impacted by these rumors and their preparation takes a hit so if you are an intern or a dropper your main aim should be to isolate yourself from all the noise ensure that you don't get sucked into all that cycle of you know asking hypothetical questions from people that you know do not know the answer so if you ask me today so please tell me whether inicity will happen or not the best i can do is make a guess but you know there's no value of that guess because nobody knows whether my guess would come out to be true or not so you should not waste time in asking hypothetical questions continue studying do not let all these things impact you if you do that you will be you know, you'll be giving yourself a significant edge in the in the competition because 100% certain students are going to fall into that trap don't do that save yourself if you're a final year student i believe that you must be feeling that it is so unfair right the first the first thought that must be coming in your mind is this is so unfair why has it why why does it always happen to me so students life is unfair life has always been unfair life will also be unfair in the future so this fairness unfairness are things that are beyond your control and and a good strategy in life is not only not only about the entrance examination life in general a good strategy is to worry only about things that are in your control and the things that are beyond your control you cannot do anything about them anyways so this fairness and fairness question let us not dwell too much on it i believe next examination may not be the worst thing first of all you all are in the same boat right it's not that such something has changed only for you everybody else will is in the same boat so everybody is you know there is a level playing field here nobody is at advantage or disadvantage your anxiety might be telling you that this is the worst thing that could have happened to you but it is for everybody first of all secondly see in next examination the number of subjects have gone down so finally it might end out to be you know actually beneficial for the students they have to focus less on uh, all the subjects and now now they can focus more on certain clinical subjects so in the in the longer run or if if you think about it a bit objectively it might not be the worst thing to happen another good thing that i see is that they are uh, saying that uh, next examination will happen twice a year and and probably you will be allowed to take the examination probably they will come out with something uh, like best of the scores or whatever it is but see when when you get one examination per year the pressure builds up so much that there is a there is a, a possibility that you end up screwing the examination or performing badly because of anxiety now you know that there are two exams so at least the pressure goes down a little bit and you know that might actually increase the pre- improve your preparation or improve your performance in the examination so in 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 this current state where there's a lot of anxiety and uncertainty uh, everywhere uh, all around uh, you might feel that you know whatever is happening is happening really bad but it might actually turn out to be not so bad so we have to we have to keep ourselves calm we have to keep telling ourselves that uh, whatever is happening is happening for everybody we also have to keep telling ourselves that you know things are not all bad there are certain positive points also and most importantly we have to ensure that we remain on track let's let's not get that distressed that you know we are not able to study anymore so relax calm down there is a good there is a song which is getting viral now calm down calm down i think it it has been made for our students only you have to calm down 
it's it's not a doomsday it's not end of everything it's just a minor change and these changes have happened multiple times in the past uh, years we all uh, i mean i myself have seen uh, the pattern of examination changing twice or thrice and uh, never did ha- did it have a major impact on either the preparation way or on on the final results that students got so everything is okay relax calm down take a deep breath it's okay these things happen i mean it's it's not the end of the world right and uh, as as we get more information we'll talk about it more uh, i think all institutes will be planning how to help their students at cerebellum we are definitely planning to come up with some from some new uh, uh, some some new project to to uh, help you fine tune your preparation we will we'll talk about it soon but but the crux of the matter the summary of this video is it's okay these things happen let's not get too troubled by them let's not get too distressed by them everything will be all right take care